I'm Marisa Christian with the International Business Times. Wearable technology is on the verge of becoming mainstream. So today we're at the Wearable Tech Expo in Manhattan to talk to the industry's biggest leaders, like Motorola Solutions with their HC1 headset computer, to talk about the future of this growing technology. We come into contact with wearable technology every day without even realizing it. Talking on our Bluetooth headsets, checking our digital watches, even tracking grueling workouts with sensors built into our tennis shoes. Wearable technology really is on the verge of becoming mainstream. Why now? Uh, part of it has to do with miniaturization. I think that um, prior to today, we just didn't have the ability to uh, put the battery technology and even the circuits in small enough um, packages to to work with uh, our clothing and, and to just be able to attach to our bodies without it being too bulky. That's the first thing that's happened. The second thing is that uh, Google's been teasing their glass rollout that's not really generally available yet. And that's really pushed the market along. And Apple has been rumored to be coming out with an iWatch. Uh, the rumors have, have built up now twice over the last year or so. And what that's done is it's put a lot of pressure on everyone that is considering getting into the wearable game to, to come out with a product. And so that's why we're seeing a lot, of, um, a lot of energy in the market. So those two things have come together. Google Glass has stolen the wearable tech spotlight in recent months, but View 6 is hoping to stake its claim on the smart glasses market with the M100, the intelligent hands-free display for smartphones. Now, how do you use this? How do you command the smart glasses? Uh, there's there's controls on the top. Eventually, we'll have uh, voice recognition, so you can command the M100 with your with your voice. But right now, it's 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 touch controls. You can pair it with your smartphone and use your smartphone display to uh, to uh, control it. And uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do that way. Max Virtual introduced Synapse, the baseball cap that distributes sound to the inner ear using bone conduction technology designed for the hearing impaired. So tell me a little bit about the technology behind the hat, because I know you have some bone conduction going on. Right. Well, bone conduction, we actually use bone conduction every day when we speak. Our voice box vibrates our skull, which goes into our inner ear. And uh, we're doing the same thing with the hat. We're only directing the sound into the inner ear by vibrating the skull. And you guys can't hear this. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Tell me what this can do. So think of it as almost a, like a smartphone that you wear on your head, but that's kind of where the, the parallels end, right? Motorola Solutions is redefining how work gets done with its HC1 headset computer, which allows you to access critical documents and collaborate with remote experts hands-free using voice commands and gesture control. So this seems like it's geared towards professionals. What about users or just people on the street? Is this something for them or it's not there yet? Motorola Solutions is a gear company targeted at public safety and enterprise users. So the HC1 headset computer is best for those people with the dirty jobs that are in industrial environments, construction, climbing a pole, crawling around on a crawl space. We have millions of pages of PDFs, documents, and schematics. We don't need to print them out anymore. We can bring them up and pan in real time, kind of like the holodeck, and look and peer into our information hands-free. With the introduction of Google Glass, the success of the Pebble Watch, and rumors swirling around Apple's iWatch, wearables are stepping forward as the gadgets to watch in 2013 and beyond. Marisa Christian, IB Times TV.